Well, that's our look at today in sports history, and it's time now to put somebody in the sports spotlight. And we have put all different kind, hundreds of people, players, coaches, managers, racehorses, stock car drivers, Olympic champions, and more. But we never put an organist in our sports spotlight, and we're going to do it today. Maybe one of the most famous of all the organists in a baseball park, Jane Jarvis. She was actually an American jazz pianist. She was known for her work as a prolific composer and a baseball stadium organist. She was born in Vincennes, Indiana, and she was recognized as a piano prodigy at the age of five. Uh, she, uh, Her family was all killed in a train and auto wreck, and she returned to Vincennes, where she went to high school in 1932, graduated, went to the Chicago Conservatory of Music. In 1954, she was on TV in Chicago, excuse me, in Milwaukee, at a show called Jivin' with Jarvis. And uh, she was serving as the staff pianist and organist at the television station and radio station. At the time, the Milwaukee Braves had just relocated from Boston, and they got a brand new organ at their uh, stadium, and they sought out Jane Jarvis to be the organist at Milwaukee County Stadium. She said, okay, always looking for a little extra dough. Um, in a nineteen interview, 1984 interview with the New York Times, she was asked, um, how, did, how much did she know about baseball? And she said, I didn't know anything. I went to the owner of the Milwaukee Braves, and I said, when would I get to perform on the organ? And he looked at me, and he said, when the umpire says three outs, that's when you play. And Jane Jarvis, who knew nothing about baseball, said, and when does he say three outs? She stayed with the Milwaukee Braves as their organist for eight seasons. Then she went to New York City, where she had took up a position with the Muzak Corporation, went all the way up to become vice president and director of recording there. And in 1964, Jane Jarvis was hired by the New York Mets to play the organ at their new Shea Stadium. Fans loved her, loved her little winks that she would do with the organ. She played for the Mets uh, all those years. Uh, she played the Mets theme song as the team took the field before every game. She's the one that ba da ba 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 da charge. She was the one that started that in New York. Uh, she was the one that started the Mexican hat dance during the seventh inning stretch. And she just loved it there, and she loved her players, and she loved her Mets. Afterwards, she retired uh, with ill health and left the organ playing at the ballpark, but she did come back and do some jazz piano work, recorded some al albums, and uh, it was considered to be quite the player, uh, quite the organ key player. Um, a very uh, odd little thing. In 2008, and I remember being on the air when this happened. Do you remember this? When a construction crane collapsed in Manhattan. Do you remember that? It came crashing down into into some buildings, and some people were killed. The crane came right down into Jane Jarvis's residence and completely destroyed her building on East 50th Street. She spent the last years of her life in the Lillian Booth Actors Home in Englewood, New, Jer New Jersey. Jane Jarvis passed away in 2010 at the age of 94 years old. You don't usually know who's playing the organ up there in the ballpark, but everybody at the Mets uh, organization loved Jane Jarvis, and we put her in our sports spotlight this morning. Meet the Mets, meet the Mets, step right up and greet the Mets, bring your kiddies, bring your wife, guaranteed to have the time of your life, because the Mets are really sucking the ball. Mets. 
Meet the Mets. Step right up and greet the Mets. Bring your kiddies, bring your wife. Guaranteed to have the time of your life. Because the Mets are really knocking the ball. Knocking those home runs over the wall. East side, west side. Everybody come down. Some tears through the coming years. Ooh, all the while I know you'll be smiling. Your love will guide me through every mile. Cause you're the one that I long to kiss. Baby, you're the one that I really miss. You're the one that I'm dreaming of. Baby, you're the one that I love. Yeah, yeah, you're the one that I long to kiss. Baby, you're Good morning, everybody. I am Big Chuck. Delighted to have you aboard, my friends. As we crank right along, that's the Vogues, and you're the one. And before that, Meet the Mets, a song that was played on the organ by New York Mets organist Jane Jarvis hundreds of times over her career. And we put her in the sports spotlight, maybe the most unusual person we've ever put in the sports spotlight. You know, one year, the Mets even honored her. She was put on a baseball card. (laughs) I think that's great and they loved her there and uh so anyway you never know who is going to pop up for sure in big chuck's sports spotlight here's jimmy dean good morning friends thanks for tuning in i appreciate it before you take another step there's something About the years ahead And how they'll be You'll be living In a world where roses hardly ever grow Cause all I have to offer There'll be no mansions waiting on the hills With crystal chandeliers And there'll be no fancy clothes for you to wear
Sweetheart, I give you all my love In every way I can But make sure that's what you want While you're still free The only gold I have for you Is in this wedding band Cause all I have to offer you Is me There'll be no mansions Waiting on the hills With crystal chandeliers And there'll be no fire For you to wear Everything I have Is standing here In front of you to see All I have to offer you Is me That's Mr. Jimmy Dean for you on WCHN in Norwich, New York, WDOS in Oneonta, New York, and WDLA AM in Walton. I'm Big Chuck. I'll be right back. <laughs> 